today I want to talk about how you can become a millionaire from the AMC squeeze. This video will partially be a brackets video, but also an instructional and educational video on how you can, if you so choose to, accumulate more AMC shares to increase the chances of you becoming a millionaire or even better, a multi-millionaire from the squeeze. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, I want to start by going through the number of shares you need at different price brackets to become a millionaire. But then, as I said, how you can also become a millionaire even if you're not holding tons of AMC shares right now. So let's say you're an OG ape, you've done the due diligence, and you believe AMC can run to $100,000 per share. To become a millionaire, all you need right now is just 10 AMC shares. Let's say you want to be more than just a millionaire, you want to be a multimillionaire, and you want $10 million. In which case, you don't need 10 shares, you need 100 shares. But let's say you've done that due diligence, you know $100,000 per share is possible, but you think the SEC, FINRA, the DTCC, the Fed, or the US government will get involved and try and barter some kind of squeeze price. So let's say you think it can instead run to $10,000 per share. In that instance, all you need is 100 shares to become a millionaire. Again, if you want $10 million, you don't need 100 shares. In that instance, you need 1,000 shares. Now, let's say you don't fully believe in a squeeze, but you do think AMC can turn itself around, improve profitability, improve revenues, pay down debt, and ultimately that share price can still reach a new all-time high. Maybe it's not going to happen next week or next month, but at some point in the future, a new time high you believe is guaranteed and that it can definitely reach $1,000 per share. $1,000 per share is only three times the size of the January run-up adjusted for that reverse split dilution new shares and everything else. At $1,000 per share, to become a millionaire, you need 1,000 AMC shares. Again, let's say a million isn't enough, you need $10 million, a multi, multi, multi millionaire. In that instance, you don't need 1,000 shares, you need 10,000 shares of AMC. Now let's say instead you're a bit of a shill and you don't believe in the squeeze at all and you're the kind of person that leaves comments saying I'd like to see AMC get back to $30 per share first. In that instance maybe you think AMC can still turn itself around to $100 per share. In that instance at $100 per share you need 10,000 AMC shares to become a millionaire or 100,000 AMC shares to become a 10 times millionaire or have $10 million. Now let's say on the off chance you're still watching this video even though you think the future for AMC is bleak and that it could only ever hit $10 per share. In that instance, to become a millionaire, you need 100,000 AMC shares. Regardless of how you look at it or whichever price you think AMC can hit, everyone can agree AMC has a unique ability to make millionaires. We know the short interest is at all time highs, but that short interest is simply hidden in ETFs. As Zero Hedge tweeted, hedge funds have learnt from Gabe Plotkin's mistakes and instead of shorting single names directly, they short ETFs. Especially shorting those single stock short ETFs like the ones in AMC, GameStop and many other stocks. That way when you're shorting an ETF, you don't have to report your short interest on specific stocks like AMC, GameStop or others. Again, we know that short interest is still out there and it's still at all time highs because as Crystal Ball tweeted, under FINRA rule 4560, firms are not required to report short interest positions held overseas at separate legal entities. So all of the hundreds of Citadel and Goldman Sachs Cayman Island subsidiaries are exempt from reporting short positions and that doesn't come up in short interest. So these hedge funds are simply either shorting overseas or shorting ETFs and that's why the AMC short interest has fell to 9% because these hedge funds have learnt from Gabe Plotkin's mistakes. Not only that but we also know that hedge funds have been losing billions of dollars and many hedge funds have been collapsing. So many hedge funds have collapsed in fact that Biotech Moose has had to shrink the size of the Moose heads to ensure they still fit on the wall and at some point in the future is even going to have to build a second wall for the sheer number of hedge funds collapsing. And as Sajka has explained, this is also a great video if you haven't watched it already, AMC is now in that deep value territory. 
AMC's total market cap is currently less than one quarter of a year's revenue. Many stocks out there like Tesla, for example, trade at six, seven, eight, ten, or 15 times, not just their quarterly revenue, but their annual revenue. And therefore it won't be long until many institutional value investors come along and buy AMC stock. But how exactly can we improve the chances of becoming a millionaire from the AMC squeeze? Let's say, for example, you know $10 or $100 per share are guaranteed. $1,000 is definitely still viable. $10,000 to $100,000 per share plus, though, you're not too sure on. Well, the obvious answer is to have more shares. The more shares of AMC you own, the lower share price it needs to hit to become a millionaire or a multimillionaire. Now you might say, well, Tom, that obviously sounds simple, but I can't afford 100,000 shares of AMC. Right now, I can't even afford 10,000 shares, and maybe I can't actually afford 1,000 shares. Obviously, everyone here is in a different position. Some of you have 10 shares, some of you have 1,000 shares, some of you have 10,000 shares, and some of you have some kind of number somewhere in between. But at the end of the day, for everyone, the amount of money you make from the squeeze depends on two things. It depends on the squeeze price, and it depends on how many shares you hold. The squeeze price we can't necessarily control, but the number of shares we hold we can absolutely control. For example, I don't know if it's going to hit $1,000, $10,000, $100,000 per share or more or less, because I can't see the future. I don't know when the SEC, FINRA, the DTCC, the Fed and the government are going to get involved. I don't know if they're going to get involved and I don't know if prices do reach these insane highs where the money is going to come from. So I can't guarantee or tell you a specific squeeze price. Now, I guess I also can't tell you to buy more shares of AMC because A, I'm not a financial advisor and B, I've always told you on this channel never to invest more money into any stock than you're comfortable with losing. I've always said on this channel never invest more than you're willing to lose and I stand by that still to this very day. But what I can do is help give suggestions on how you can save more money or how you can make even more money to, if you so chose to, buy more AMC shares. This extra money that you're saving or that you're making, you can also invest into companies like AMC, GameStop or other companies without being worried about the price. With this extra money you're making or saving, you can then invest that money into companies like AMC, GameStop or other companies without being worried about that company price. Because obviously this money is extra and you didn't have it previously. Therefore, that also makes you immune to price changes. So one thing you can do is to save more money. For that, I'd really advise opening an Excel document and exporting a few months of bank statements into Excel and then classifying all of that expenditure into different categories. Classify that into home expenditure like your mortgage or rent, utilities like power and electricity, car, groceries, entertainment, so on and so forth. You can find the average spend for each month and you can then work out if there's anything you think is viable to cut back on. Could you reduce your car expenditure or your travel expenditure? Could you reduce the amount of money you spend eating out or specifically on food? Or could you reduce entertainment expenditure or your monthly direct debits? Now, instead of that, you could also earn more money on the side. You could pick up some extra hours at your current job or pick up an additional part-time job, for example, doing something on the weekends. You could also start a side hustle, doing something you enjoy, or you could also trade and invest on the side. You could go out and trade and invest on your own, or you could join an educational trading group that's currently holding a Thanksgiving sale for the next seven days, like the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group. In this group, we've got fast moving momentum news play alerts, we've got options day trades, we've got slightly longer swing trades, we've got educational videos, we've got weekly market recaps, and we've also got watch lists as well. And here's some screenshots of some of the people that are already making money in the millionaire mindset trading group, making hundreds of dollars per day in just a few minutes, or sometimes as quick as 30 seconds. 
Right now you can currently get five weeks for the price of four or an extra free week of membership. When the billing cycle restarts at the 1st of December, I'll refund that 1st of December billing so you get an extra week for free. We're already over 80 members strong and when we reach 100 or 125, the price will be increasing. So get in while you still can at these lower prices. If you join now, you'll be forever grandfathered in at the current price and you won't ever have any price increases. You can see here that we've actually already got over 110 paid members. As I said, it's over 80 at the billionaire level, a bunch at the millionaire level two, and a few people that aren't renewing as they feel they've already learned the skills to be profitable on their own. So in this group, not only can you follow my trade alerts, but as I said, you can also gain the skills such as the right mindset, the right rules, and the right technical skills to be a profitable trader on your own. Now, if you do have any questions about the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group, be sure to ask them down below and I'll respond as quick as I can. But I've also got a Q&A thread pinned to my Twitter or X profile that should answer a lot of those questions. It goes through and answers things like what kind of stocks we trade, what kind of prior trading knowledge you might need, how much cash you might need for the actual trading itself, and what kind of educational content is provided. This way you can make a few hundred extra dollars every day, every week or every month, depending on how much work you're willing to put in, which could always buy you more AMC shares or dinner out with a loved one or pay down some bills. Whichever way you look at it, saving more money or earning more money on the side is the best way to accumulate more AMC shares if you so chose to. Again, as I said, I can't tell anyone to buy AMC shares as I'm not a financial advisor and I would always still say don't ever invest more than you're willing to lose. Ultimately, the reason why I started this trading group is to use some of my time to give back to my audience to help them make more money. But guys, be sure to let me know what your plan for becoming a millionaire from the AMC squeeze is down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.